great time, yes. Well, it's uh, been great, but you are also responsible to be your best.
Yes, yeah, yet again. So, do you think more pressure for you? Well, uh, um, you know, English only? Okay, depends on me. <laughs> well, I think that when you're here at the Retail Jewelers India Awards, the, the most important thing is I've been coming here again and again, and you know, this is my fourth year in a row when I've uh, been the jury. It's just, firstly, as, as a judge, you just have such a great understanding of jewelry and you learn over the years, and it's only something that being on a forum and a platform like this, you end up learning so much more. Secondly, and most importantly, I always say this and I have, this is like, the Oscars for jewelry in India you know it's like all the jewelers all the best jewelers come together and it's almost anonymous because when we're judging jab yahan pe hum judge karte hain aur jab score karte hain jewelry ko hame pata nahi hota hai ki kaun sa brand kahan hai so you know that it's very fair it's very equal and the best and the process that happens here the 10 pieces that we see in every category or sometimes 15 they're definitely chosen over thousands of pieces that experts have brought to us so it's a very interesting interesting way of doing this. Um, I'm just happy that I get to come here year after year and more importantly I'm just happy that I have an understanding of jewellery even without uh, you know coming from a background where I don't didn't know much about jewellery and today I end up knowing a lot more which is which is really creditable for someone like me. But this, yeah, which kind of jewellery you personally have like so many different different categories? I know you know but then I'll tell you as a judge my taste in every category is different ki theke bridal mein aisa hona chahiye ya phir you know modern mein aisa hona chahiye ya platinum mein aisa hona chahiye but as a person uh, I've grown you know pehle mujhe bahut uh, bade statement pieces achche lagte the but now I like more vintage more uh, you know pieces that that are older and who that have a story to tell i like i like pieces like that but maybe you know in a couple of years it'll change again but i don't think i've uh, graduated to platinum and diamonds just but yet i love emeralds and that's why i have emeralds on i think last year also i wore the same earrings and came because i love emeralds so much that i keep wearing the same pieces and i think the thing about jewelry is that the most beautiful part is you don't never feel the pressure uh aisa nahi hai jaise kapde pehnte hain aur har roz aise lagta hai kuch alag pehnna hai agar aapko ek jewelry ka piece acha lagta hai you can even wear it for 5 years or 10 years and you can wear it every day and it just it's just timeless and it's classic it never actually grows old uh, any memories uh, you want to share Jewelry, I don't, uh, I'm not a big jewelry uh, collector. I don't own too much uh, uh, real jewelry of my own because I, I like, uh, you know, having one or two pieces and then those pieces I like wearing all the time. Uh, but yeah, for me, the mo my most prized possession that I own is a bracelet, which is like, uh, you know, Bustra pearls and, and 24 karat gold. Actually, you don't get that very much and in such pure form now. Uh, and uh, my grandmother gave it to me. It was something that she used to wear. And I'm a little scared of wearing it outside ki kahin gir na jai, kuch ho na jai. But yes, for me, that's my most prized possession of jewelry. And yeah, and there's this beautiful chain um, that my mother has given me. And it's like, it's so long that you can wear it long and you can make it short like a choker. It's pure gold, but uh, it's just beautiful. Every time I wear it, I just feel like, you know, my I, I have my mum very, very close to me. So yeah, both the pieces. Well, I have another film of mine called Mo Maya Money that's coming out. It should come out by the end of this year. It's a very uh, independent, small, uh, you know, interesting film. The ones that I like to do. So I'm currently dubbing for that and it's making me nervous to see myself on the big screen. But yeah, it's just, it's fun because, uh, I mean, I have taken a little bit of a shift and like you guys say, a break. But uh, it's the wait for interesting films to come. It's, uh, I think it's always... Uh, uh, quality over quantity as far as I'm concerned. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you very you much. much. Thank you.